this video we are going to discuss unit vectors along x axis y axis and z axis so let us start with a unit vector along x axis a vector whose length is one unit along x axis is called a unit vector along x axis as here in this diagram OA is a unit vector, its length is one unit. Similarly, along y axis OB is the vector whose length is one unit. So, this is unit vector along y axis. Similarly, on z axis OC is a vector whose length is one unit. Unit vector along x axis is denoted by I cap. Unit vector along y axis is denoted by j cap and a unit vector along z axis is denoted by k cap now we'll discuss the representation of a vector in three dimensional space so a vector is represented in three dimensional space with the help of three mutually perpendicular straight lines which are known as axes. Let us draw a diagram to understand it better. X O Y and Z. These are three mutually perpendicular straight lines. The angle between these two straight, straight lines and these two straight lines, 90 degree. So these are three mutually perpendicular straight lines. As you see, the angle between OX and OY seems to be an obtuse angle because it is impossible to draw three mutually perpendicular straight lines on a plane so with the help of these three pencils we are trying to understand the correct concept of three mutually perpendicular straight lines so here it is these are three mutually perpendicular straight line this is x axis this is y axis and that is z axis so to understand a three dimensional space we need to imagine an axis in this space so as you see Now you can understand easily what is a three-dimensional space. Now let us talk about a vector representation with the reference of three mutually perpendicular straight lines. Let it be OA. OA is a vector which is also in a space we need to imagine it in the space this is not on the plane say this is y axis and this is oa vector
So if we imagine OA in the space, it is possible to draw perpendicular from O2, these three mutually perpendicular straight lines. So let us draw a perpendicular from A to X axis, let it be AL. So AL is perpendicular on X axis. Similarly, we drop a perpendicular from A to Z axis, that is AN. Now AN is perpendicular to Z axis. Similarly, we can draw a perpendicular from A to Y, though it is very difficult to represent it. But now you can understand it because this is three dimensional space. So at least you need to some you need to imagine something. Again, I'm trying to explain it. This is y-axis, and suppose this is OA in a space. So this is quite simple to understand that it is quite possible to drop a perpendicular from the terminal point of this vector that is A point to Y axis. Here we can drop it up. So now say this is perpendicular from A to Y axis, let it be AM. So now we can imagine it easily that AM is perpendicular to Y axis. Let the distance OL is a1 so a1 is said to be a projection on x axis of oa similarly om and on are said to be projections on x y axis and z axis respectively so Suppose length of OM is A2 and length of ON is A3. So here, if A1 is projection of vector OA, on x axis and a2 is projection of vector ob vector oa sorry on y axis And A3 is the projection of vector OA, projection of the vector OA on Z axis. Then the vector OA can be expressed as OA vector is equal to A1 I cap here I1 is the unit vector along X axis plus A2 J cap plus A3 K cap here J cap as we have discussed earlier is the unit vector along Y axis and K cap is the unit vector along Z axis so a1 i cap plus a2 j cap plus a3 k cap. So this is how we represent a vector in three dimensional space.
with the reference of three straight lines, mutually perpendicular straight lines.